Hi all. Let's talk about so what are expressions in SSIS or what is the importance of expressions in SSIS. See, expressions are very important in SSIS packages. So these expressions will help us to provide a dynamic behavior to the SSIS packages. It works at the runtime. So let me give you technically some more details. So expressions is a kind of simple code snippet which is having a value and at the end it gives you a value. So based on that value you can uh, take it uh, to the next level or you can stop the execution. So it is framed with the symbols, identifiers, literals, functions and operators. And it can hold the multiple expressions and it, it can be a complex expression as well and it is to be evaluated dynamically at runtime. And you can write the expressions at two levels. First one is at the control flow level, second one is at the data flow level. So what exactly I can write at the control flow level? So there are some variables. So you can derive the variable value by using expressions. So in that expression you can use other variables or you can put some logic as well. And second point. So precedence constraints also can be built with the help of the expressions to validate the conditions either true or false. So let us say I have two tasks. Task one is completed. I have to go to the task two in the middle. So I can implement a expression on the top of the precedence constraints. So if this is true, then only I have to go to task two. Otherwise, I'll stop here itself. So you can implement the expressions on the top of the precedence constraints. And third point. So tasks and containers also can also make use of the expressions. So even like so I, I want to oh, disable the uh, container or task with the help of the expressions at the runtime. So these are the three scenarios where I can use the expressions. So let me go to data flow tab in SSIS. See in the data flow level. So it can be used to direct the rows in the conditional split transformations means I can reject the rows with the help of the expressions or I can approve or I can pass the rows to the next transformation or next control. So by making it as a true or false and next. So in the derived column, so I can add a new column with the help of the expression or I can change the existing value with the help of the expressions. So I mean I can provide a data customizations in the SSIS package with the help of the expressions. Finally, expressions are the one which will help us to provide a dynamic behavior to the columns in the SSIS package. So it can be found with the help of the symbols, identifiers, literals, functions and operators. That's it. Thank you for watching.